Hi, this is Chantal Girardi, and today I want to talk to you about the eight fundamentals of Facebook. Yes, Facebook can be fun, but it can also make you money, funds. So today I'd like to talk to you about the eight things that I truly believe that unless you're doing them, your Facebook will fail. So number one is uh, know who you are. Now this sounds like a bit of a weird one, but if you don't know who you are and if you don't know what you're like or the type of profile that you're wanting to have online, or if you haven't established your personal branding, um, it can be confusing to other people on Facebook. So firstly, I'd encourage you to get clear on who you are and how you want to be seen and what do you want to be known for on Facebook? What is the consistent message that you're going to be coming across with so people can build that relationship with you? Number two is who is your ideal client? Now we need to know this so that we know how to talk to them. We know where they are and we know what they're interested in so that we can connect with them and build a deep and meaningful relationship. So we want to consider what their wants are, their needs, their fears, their aspirations, so that we can know how we can actually help them, communicate with them to actually help them or offer them something. Number three is stalk your competitors. Now this isn't so that you can copy them. It's more so that you can uh, work out how you are going to stand out from them online. So have a look at like-minded industries or your competitors that you know, have a look at their Facebook profile and work out what is it that you do differently? What is your point of difference? How do you stand out? And how are you going to use your Facebook page to get that message across? Number four is uh, you want consistent branding and key messaging. So people often talk about branding as in colors and fonts and images, and you want to have the same sort of feelings across all your platforms so that you can become a recognizable uh, a brand. But what people also need to consider on is having consistent key messages. These are the words that you're going to be using again and again and again that differentiate you from everyone else and are memorable so that your ideal client online can connect with you, build that relationship with you, and you become known for certain things. So number five is having a strategy plan. So I love the S word, strategy. Instead of just going every single day and spitting all over Facebook um, and having a fluffy profile that is confusing, uh, rather sit down and come up with a strategy. What are you hoping to achieve? What is your intention? What is your end goal? And work backwards from there. If your end goal is to get actual paying clients, who are those clients? How much are you gonna be charging them for? Are you gonna be booking them into a call? Are you gonna be selling them into a program? How are you gonna build relationship with them and work backwards from there and have a strategy? And often working with a co coach, um, this is a great time for you to actually enroll a coach um, and get them to assist you with that process. Um, let's have a look here. So we don't just wanna post, post, post. As I said, we wanna make sure that everything is done strategically, um, that you know what days and times to post, uh, you know what your expected outcome is, and that the content that you're creating is going to be compelling and converts. Not only that, but you will also know how to convert them and actually get them off Facebook and turn them into a paying client, which is a vital part of the process. Posting alone is not gonna get you there. Same like, posting is only one small piece of the pie, what you also have to have a strategy on is how you're gonna be growing your page. What, is, what steps are you gonna be taking on a daily basis to grow your Facebook page and get more of the right people on there so that your content is actually talking to the right people and not just talking to no one. Uh, the next one are all the R's. So it's R and R and it's not rest and relaxation. It is review your insights. So each week, take some time out of your business, go in and review your insights, see what's working, what's not working, and consider why and what changes you can make. The next one is you want to respond to engagement. So there's nothing worse than people going and scheduling all this content in there. And when they do get engaged, they don't actually respond. The whole purpose is to get that relationship building, to evoke curiosity and get those questions coming in. So make sure that you respond. Uh, then it's recommendations. So we need to focus on getting recommendations because recommendations are part of social proof. And people need to hear from other people the results that you've had. And the last one is referrals. Do you know how to recognize actual referrals that are happening on Facebook? And do you know what to do when you get those referrals? So that needs to be part of your ongoing plan. 
Um, number seven is get them the hell off Facebook, meaning that Facebook owns Facebook. They own all the content and they own Facebook groups. So if you're building a community in your Facebook groups and you don't actually have their email addresses, if Facebook blows up or, or disappears, uh, you're going to be stuck with uh, no audience, uh, no prospective clients. So part of your ongoing strategy um, and establishing the foundations of Facebook is consider how are you going to be getting their email addresses? How are you going to be getting them off Facebook? So if they're not ready to buy from you right now, then Facebook. So can it be done through your email database? Uh, can it be done through retargeting? Uh, we want to make sure that we're focusing on getting them off Facebook as soon as possible. Um, and then your last one, number eight, is have a professional profile. So if you have a look at other people's Facebook profiles, you'll see the difference between a clearly well set up professional profile and someone has just slapped a few things together. If you want people to invest money in what it is that you do, understand that they are going to stalk you. So many people say to me that their personal profiles don't need to be set up professionally. However, they do. They need to have a professional profile. You need to have good images. Uh, your key messages and values need to be coming across in your post. Your links need to be tested. They need to be clickable so people can actually find your business um, and be able to contact you. Uh, you need to understand your privacy settings so that if you do get trolled um, or negative comments, that you know how to handle them. So those are my eight fundamentals of Facebook. And I truly believe that without those eight fundamentals and without establish that solid Facebook foundation, no amount of Facebook Facebooking or no amount of posting, no amount of gambling money away on ads is going to convert to anything unless you get those first eight fundamentals down pat and nailed. So I hope that you uh, will listen back, get a pen and paper, write them down, take some time outside of your business and make sure that you create a kick-ass Facebook profile that generates you not only friends, but actual paying clients so that all your time and energy and Facebooking uh, is not a waste of time.